Tonight, no job too much for tonight's Women in Leadership honoree. She used to run several Kaleida hospitals, and now she's helping the visually impaired in our community see a better future. 7 Eyewitness News teaming up with New York State Women Incorporated on these monthly reports, recognizing women like Tammy Owen, who are committed to changing the lives of others. At the Olmsted Center for Sight, Tammy Owen has a new focus. The former Kaleida Health executive went from number crunching at several local hospitals to improving the lives of the visually impaired. I was always leading and focusing on the patient and the family. Um, so coming here, it was um, moving back to that. Tammy started her career in healthcare as a physical therapist, and when she became frustrated with hospital administration, she became an administrator. Now she uses those skills to help remove barriers for the blind. Individuals without sight are as capable as those of us that have sight. They just do things differently. New technology has completely revolutionized their world. Why you have to see more health and human services dash internet explorer. That's just telling you what the title of this website is. Voice recognition on computers allows Tammy's clients to run the state's 211 Health and Human Services Call Center for Western New York. Actually, a blind person's barrier, biggest barrier, are the rest of us. Uh, and really the lack of knowledge and, uh, and awareness of what they can do. There are many different training programs at the Olmsted Center, and 82% of clients who go through here are placed in good jobs. But there are many more people to reach. There are more than 20,000 legally blind people in Western New York, with the Olmsted Center serving about 1,500 a year. But the woman who helped oversee the move of Millard Fillmore Gates Circle Hospital doesn't seem daunted by a challenge, especially one this meaningful. It's absolutely amazing to see the adversity that they can overcome and find purpose and find um, uh, just joy in life. For more information on our Women in Leadership series, head to our website, wkvw.com.